The earthquakes mean that we need to think about the work we're doing and the design of the, structure, the, um, the infrastructure we're building um, in a different way. Something that we're considering within the design we're doing now, uh, the work we're undertaking, that we're including um, resilience as part of that work and designing features into the infrastructure to cope with future earthquakes. Here in Christchurch now, not only do we have to obviously take into account seismic forces on the wall, which is an, an added challenge, because we're now working in an aftershock environment, there's actually a raised level of earthquake disturbance that we have to take into account as well. So we're building in re resilience through considering the effects, uh, what effect will a future earthquake have upon the network we're installing. So we're looking at alternative systems, um, using um, systems that, that can cope with earthquakes. Um, we're looking at how we build a standard system and allow or build resilience within the system so that um, as changes occur, and they will occur within the ground, the, the pipe networks, etc., can cope with change. Um, the pumice stations that we're building uh, are able to cope with movements of the, the structure. We can't hold them firmly in place for every possible event but we can build them in such a way as that we allow the movement to occur and the, the pipe working connections. There's flexibility in that um, so that it can cope with movements and this is probably a new area that we're, we're looking at that's not been really looked at before. It's, it's important to invest um, time and money in the design um, part of the um, design and construct um, work we're undertaking because studies have shown that for every dollar you invest um, in the design you could generate up to twenty dollars worth of savings when you come to the construction. So we don't want to rush the design, we don't want to come up with solutions that aren't going to work. We need to take our time and make sure we've got the most robust and cost-effective solution for the future of Christchurch. Another key challenge I can think of is that the retaining walls which we're designing and building are required to stand for a hundred years. Now it'd be useful for the public to bear in mind that as designers and engineers we have only a few months in order to get the design, the calculations and the drawings and the planning of how we're going to build these walls correct. We want to make sure we, we do it thoroughly. Um, when we're doing the concept there's lots of different alternatives and they could have a significant difference in both cost and construction time between them and we need, so we need to make sure we've got uh, robust solutions and we've looked at all the possible alternatives. And when we get into the detail also there's a lot of work to be undertaken in the detail. We need to make sure we understand how the, how the network works. There's lots of interaction takes place with the delivery teams. So it's not just the designers working in isolation. We work together with the delivery teams to work up solutions. The idea is this is a, a design and build solution. It's not any one person but it's a team that come together to form the most effective solutions. And, and uh, that's something that I'd like to get across. To, to the public. There are over 200 people in here working hard to get those designs out. There's some real innovation that's coming out of this project. Uh, some of the work we're doing is, is groundbreaking um, because there hasn't been a lot of work or research in the, the effects of earthquakes on infrastructure um, around the world and the designing of solutions for infrastructure um, to, uh, dealing, to deal with earthquakes. And we're coming up with some standard solutions for uh, pumping stations and infrastructure that could be applied once we've finished well beyond this particular project and could be useful both uh, in the rest of New Zealand and beyond New Zealand into the rest of the world.